this is Diadectes. It is a type of synapsid that lived around the early in Permian period around 290 to 272 million years ago. Now this guy is pretty unique and important to our evolutionary history in multiple different ways. To start off, it is one of the first tetrapods or four-legged animals to reach a very large body size. Prior to this, all land tetrapods were quite small, but this guy could get up to three meters long, which is absolutely massive for the time period and even large for right now. But more importantly, Diadectes was one of the first tetrapods to ever be an herbivore. Now other things ate plants, there were ancient arthropods like insects and millipedes that could eat plant matter as well as decomposing fungi, but before this, all tetrapods, so again, four-legged animals, they only ate other animals, be that insects, fish, or other vertebrates. This is for a couple reasons. Meat is a whole lot easier to digest, and when the digestive system overall is a relatively new concept, you don't want to put anything super hard to digest or that takes a really long time, like plant matter, which is very, very high in cellulose. Even now, cellulose is only really truly broken down by things like bacteria and fungi, and back then, it was very hard to actually digest any sort of plant matter at all. In the case of Diadectes, they also did not have very good grinding teeth like the molars that have evolved now. They only really could crop the plants and instead of chewing them, just swallow it and let it ferment in the stomach. It just kind of sat there and was fermented by gut bacteria until all of the nutrients were released. Now this was a very slow process, so it basically meant that these guys, all they did was walk around and constantly eat, much in the same way that some herbivores do. Now they're just constantly walking around and constantly eating. However, in the Diadectes' favor, they were pretty much the largest thing on land at the moment, so they didn't have a ton of predators, so they could afford to just kind of slowly lumber around and eat constantly. And this did work out pretty well for them. For a long time, they were the only large land animals that ate any sort of plant matter, so they had this entire niche pretty much all the way to themselves until other herbivores evolved. Now, as evolution continued on, other herbivores evolved and other carnivores evolved to be larger to be able to actually take on these guys. So these guys did not survive, obviously, since they're not around today, and likely went extinct due to changing factors like the increase of predators and also climate change, which favored a little bit more of an efficient herbivore digestive system. Fossil records show that towards the end of the period that these guys lived, it did get quite a lot drier and there was a decrease in the abundance of plant life, which if you have a very slow and inefficient digestive system for plants, it's not great, so that probably played a quite a large role in the extinction of the Diadectes. 